I'm Ellen Watson and today I'm talking about Moving Ventures School, an organization that I founded in 1996, inspired by my years at Esalen Institute and as an organization, a service organization, to educate women in developing countries or areas of countries that need education. And our track record is, so far has been really wonderful in Bali, is where most of the programs have taken place. And we've educated far more than women. A number of men have gone through our program and this has increased their ability to earn a sustainable income, both in their country and outside. And my brand of body work, my approach to body work, is the art of essential touch, based on touching the soul, freeing the spirit through contacting the body. Touching essence is, is what my focus is in that practice and the essence is the root word of essential oil getting the essence of plants and flowers and certain trees so i work extensively with essential oils with sound as a healing art sound is one of the ancient healing arts that's now coming back into vogue in modern times and because we now have scientific tools to measure the effectiveness of the vibration of sound as it passes through tissues, that it's getting more validity, not just an esoteric practice. And when I say sound, I mean sound, song, singing, chanting, and looking at sound as breath made audible. So it is an opportunity to engage breath. And when we lay our hands on someone and make sound, song, or chant, the vibration passes through us, not only in sound waves, but through our hands into the muscles, bones, and tissues of another. And most people have had a positive experience when being sung to. As children, as infants in mother's arms or a caregiver's arms, very few people are traumatized at an early age when sung to. So that's a safe bet when you lay your hands on someone and use the medium of sound healing that you'll have a positive response. So in my practice, the art of essential touch, there's of course touch, the foundation of which is the basic approach and philosophy of Esalen massage of which I am a teacher, a practitioner, and a student, always a student. And because I work with the chakras and energies and in a different way that's not part of Esalen Massage, I created my own brand and have my own DVDs and my own style and my own certification program. So I wear two hats in that world. And something else that's really dear to me is supporting my friend Bianca in her venture in bringing healing arts to Croatia. Her program is called Healing Arts Croatia, of which I am a, a startup part of that program. And many other people from the healing arts will be visiting Croatia in service to Eastern Europe, to Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, and other countries that have been affected by the trauma that has taken place in those countries in the last 10 years, 15 years. And trauma, speaking of that, one of the programs we're bringing, which was founded by an Italian psychologist David Bercelli and his work is 
trauma release exercises, which is tiered in levels of training. So we're bringing Maria Alfaro in next summer in 2012 to bring a level of that training. And Arthur Munyer is coming to bring in neural somatic integration, which is a more comprehensive program that involves body work as well as, well as uh, trauma release program. And then we're bringing in fun too, not just trauma release. I teach spirit dance. I'm a teacher of the five rhythm practice. And spirit dance was of course inspired by five rhythms, but much older and deeper in that it is the Native American roots of spirit dance, where tribes gather for long periods of time, three days, five days, and they use music and dance and breath and ritual and ceremony as a way to heal themselves. Getting out of non-ordinary states of consciousness and moving forward deeply into their psychological, emotional, and spiritual lives and through nonverbal integration of all parts of themselves, heal. And in Western culture, Western society, we have gotten to where we've segmented ourselves, that we have to go have an appointment with someone to take a look at what's not working. And we've lost this communal, tribal, healing that takes place when we gather and use artistic medium to transport us into a healing state. So that can be anything from one single class, something like Zumba, which is really popular right now, which brings Latin rhythm into an hour-long structured exercise class, but it's fun because of the music and because of the passion of the teachers. So spirit dance can be that kind of class where we use music from all over the world to get people breathing and moving and exercising and healing. Or it can be done in a longer day long or four days. And we're bringing in a four day program next June that combines ancient healing arts. We'll have Qigong, which is the wellness practice of China for centuries and centuries. We'll have some Hatha Yoga, which is the wellness practice of India. And we'll have Spirit Dance, which is the wellness practice of the Native American tribes, centuries and centuries old. And we blend all that together to be a healing art for anybody traumatized or no traumatized, body worker or just office worker, anyone who needs a greater experience of aliveness, of having a good time being in a body. And if you have repetitive use syndrome from computing, from carrying heavy briefcase or suitcase, from holding babies, playing musical instruments, holding a musical instrument. We all have, from driving a car, if you're a professional car driver and you have repetitive use syndrome in your forearms or shoulders or neck, developing practices such as these that are derived from yoga, qigong, dance, help release repetitive use syndrome. So we're cooking up some great practices some great experiences. A training in Esalen Massage and the Art of Essential Touch that is for professionals to, to develop a professional training program, a healing arts practice, or for someone just wanting to use it as a way to heal their personal life, to develop themselves personally. Okay, another practice, I mentioned this in the last DVD, but something I'm really pleased to bring into Eastern Europe in another year, in another program, is holotropic breathwork. The founder, the originator, the creator and developer of holotropic breathwork 
is a East, an Eastern European. He's a native of Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic now. He defected Czechoslovakia in the 50s, invited to the U.S. to be a um, primary researcher in the fields of non-ordinary states of consciousness, using LSD as the tool for research. And he did over 3,000 double-blind studies with people using this as a medium for healing from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. And I grew up with a schizophrenic mother and a bipolar aunt. And my passion, one of my great desires is to offer healing modalities to people, to family members who are facing these very challenging states of mind, states of being, for which there is still very little non-Western medical or very stringent in-house psychiatric treatment. So I'm committed to doing what I can to taking the veil of suspicion and secrecy away from this branch of medicine and spiritual emergence by offering holotropic breathwork in residential programs where professional healthcare, psychi psychological, psychiatric healthcare professionals can come and have these experiences themselves and realize the profound effect, the healing effect of breathwork. Stan Groff, Stanislav Groff, who has a PhD as well as an MD degree, turns 80 this year, and we certified folk are celebrating his life celebrating his all his remarkable contribution to the con field of consciousness of human consciousness where we no longer look at and label and put people in boxes regarding these states of being is that we look at them as a spiritual emergence that when stopped becomes an emergency that never makes this transition that moves through an emergent state into a new paradigm, a new way of being. That frequently spiritual emergency stays stuck for throughout someone's lifetime. I'm hoping to make a movie about this, to write a book, to, to bring, to, a, to shed a light on this branch of human experience that has mystified and um, professionals for millennia and even in this um, new millennium in the 2000s is still causing great great concern and not a lot of answers have been given in traditional psychiatry and psychology Funny.